There it goes. All right. So we're getting out our stuff. Uh, Chromebooks on your Chromebooks. You're going to start in our Google Classroom. So you're going to be logging through the portal, right? We're going to discuss our sign regression project. Super simple, super easy. It's going to take everything that we've done from the unit where we're working on finding all the regression equations, right? And we're going to take that and put it in presentation form. So what you already know how to do, right? With using of Desmos, right? Using the online calculator in Desmos, taking a data table, putting it in Desmos, finding the regression equation, right? You know how to do it. You just took the test on that, but now you're just going to put it in a nice, pretty presentation package using Google, uh, using your Google Drive, using Desmos, right? To put it all into a nice picture. Everybody got it? Yep. So your home base for us is going to be Google Classroom, which everybody in here has access to. So go straight to Google Classroom first. Go in through the portal because you're going to have to use your Google Drive a good bit for what we need done, right? And it's your Google Drive through the school so that it's safe and you can share it with me. You can share it with Ms. Murphy, right? You can show us what you got going on. Um, we can see your stuff in access and kind of stay personalized to you. We know what's coming up. Yeah, go to our Google Classroom. And at the top, as usual, our dates for this week are up there. And the project is kind of listed for everything this week. Uh, you heard Ms. talk about the other things that uh, we're going to do in terms of making sure that our uh, test grades and all that are taken care of. But this project itself uh, is going to be a test grade, and it's really not bad. Okay, so first thing I need you to do, we're going to start this way, a little different, right? In your head, I want you to think of a city that you want to go to. Just don't type anything in. Just think of a city. Now, here's the rules. One rule. I don't want the city to be in Georgia. I want you, I want you to get crazy. I want you to get uh, right, a little bit adventurous here. Right? Any city in the world that you want to go to, right? And we're going to do some research on that city, right? Let's speak. Have you got anywhere in mind right away? City? Yeah. Tampa, okay? T Tampa's it. Family in Tampa, reason for Tampa. <laughs> okay, Tampa, all right, we can use Tampa. All right, Nick, or Thomas, anybody? Thomas, City? Dublin, Ireland. That would have been the first. I don't think I have a Dublin last year. Christopher, you got, you got one? No? Not right off. All right, you got a few minutes to think about it. Key, anywhere? Where? Panama? Panama? We're going to get to the All right, so we're going to look at a city and we're going to look at weather patterns in the city. Okay, we're going to look at daily average temperatures, actually, monthly average temperatures, right? And we're going to use our Desmos program to track that information to create a sine regression equation, right? Why do you think we're going to use sine regression for weather patterns? What about the data? It what? Doesn't what? Jamar? No, no, you're right. What I'm saying. Does it go at a rate, right? What does it do? What do we know about the sine equation and weather patterns? What's the relationship? Who remembers? What is the, what what's the shape of a sine equation? A wave. a wave, right? A wave that repeats itself, right? What do weather patterns do? Do they repeat themselves, right? So repeating data we can track with the sign function. So that's what we're going to do. So everybody in Google Classroom now, key in Google Classroom. Yeah, everybody in Google Classroom. First thing I want you to look at is the, uh, the first slide here is your finished product. I want you to see the finished product first, okay? I want you to see your finished product first. Your finished product is going to be a Google slide, okay? It's going to be a Google slide that you're going to share from your school access Google Drive. You're going to create a Google slide, right, with this information, okay? What's the name, date, all that kind of stuff, but what city you're doing? You're going to take Google. You're going to do some research on the average daily temps for each month of the year. We'll go with the height. When you look it up, we'll look at this. Sometimes the high temperature and the low temperature. But you're going to use that to create a chart, okay? You're going to use that to create a table. Just like we had on some of our tests and quizzes, we're, we're going to build the table instead of getting given the table. We're going to build the table, right? We're going to build the table of our average temps for each month of the year. 
We're going to take that to Desmos, and we're going to create the scatter plot in Desmos through the table. Okay. Then we're going to use Desmos the way we've used online Desmos before to find the regression equation, right? Which we did for our test last week, finding the regression equation. And we're going to put all of that into a presentation, right, with a summary about what we found with the equation. So here's the big pieces, right? You got to create your table. You got to create your scatter plot with the function. You have to have the function, right? And once again, we're using which kind of function? Sine, right? Yeah, we're using sine because sine function is going to give us our wave pattern of repetition. Everybody got it so far, yes? All right. So this is the finished product. If you look at the handout that you have on the desk, if you look at the handout on your desk, this is kind of more your step-by-step -step instructions, right? The handout on your desk is more the step-by-step -step instructions. I'm going to go to it up here, okay, and give you some tips, all right? So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to pick your city, okay? Actually, we're going to take one step back. Before we pick our city, the first thing I want you to do is in your Google Drive, I want you to go ahead and create your slot and share it with... Ms. Murphy or myself. So here's Ms. Murphy, Google share spot. Okay. You know, mine is Nathan underscore Thornton. We want to go ahead and share those. Yep, she should pop up right away. If you don't know how to do that, I'll come around and help you. But let's do that first. Let's go ahead and create our slide and share it to us so that we can see it. So if you don't know how to do that, here we are in Google Drive. You're going to click new slide. And if you guys can, when you're putting this in, type in six and then your name. So, like, I would do six or Murphy. And I could even go ahead and say the coin process. Google Drive? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So, as you share that, right? You're going to have your Google slide built, and then we're going to start using the resources that we have on. Google Classroom. So what we have within the Google Classroom, I've got a link to Desmos for you, okay, so that you can build. We have the charts built in, so you can use those to copy and paste, or you can build a chart yourself in Google Classroom. Yep, you should already see it, right? Okay. Then the main work is going to be to use Desmos to find your function, right, and find your graph, and then get it all on the page. Does everybody understand? Okay, and write your summary. So once it's shared, we have access to it right away. We'll be good to go. So let's get started. Share the projects to Miss Murphy, and myself, Nathan underscore A A N A T H A N. Share those projects. Start picking your cities, and we'll get started from there.